Recap Patriots late field goal beats Lions, 30-28, in exhibition. It's the third and most important exhibition game tonight for the Detroit Lions as they host New England Patriots at Ford Field. Carlos Menares will be along, live from Ford Field, with all the major happenings from this NFL preseason contest. Patriots 30, Lions 28 fourth quarter 10.01 p.m. The Patriots squeaked out the 30-28 win on Steven Gostkowski's 45-yard field goal with two seconds left. Jimmy Garoppolo led the drive, that started at the Pats 32 with a 31-yard pass to Cody Hollister on the first play to get within striking distance right away. 9.48 p.m., the Patriots cut the Lions lead to 28-27 with Gostkowski's 25-yard field goal. 9.40 p.m., Dwayne Washington scored on a one-yard run and gave the Lions a 28-24 lead with 7.21 left. Jace Billingsley started it off with a 19-yard punt return to the Detroit 40. Rudock made up for two consecutive false starts by backup center Joe Dahl by hitting tight end Tim Wright for a 15-yard pass on second and 14. Rudock zipped a nice pass on a crossing to Billingsley for 29 yards to the Pat 6. Third quarter 9.08 p.m., Jake Rudock entered the game midway through the quarter and made some nice plays, including a strong throw to Jared Abreteris from 11 yards for a touchdown that cut the Patriots' lead to 24-21 with 3.36 left. 8.53 p.m., the Lions opened the second half by slicing and dicing the Patriots' second-team defense. With the Brady backups in, Stafford and the Lions went 88 yards in 426 and reached the end zone on Dwayne Washington's 18-yard short catch and run from Stafford. Second quarter 8.28 p.m., start up the presses. The Lions scored. The Lions scored. Marvin Jones scored on a 23-yard bomb from Matthew Stafford with 119 left to cut the Patriots' lead to 24-7. It was a great an efficient drive for the Lions, who went into their four-minute, no-huddle offense that started from their 20. Golden Tate and Amir Abdullah made nice gains on short passes. 8 p.m., stopped the presses. The Lions kept the Patriots from scoring on a drive. Anthony Zettel almost sacked Brady and Jeremiah Veloga took him down from behind on a third-down scramble to end the Pats' drive near midfield. 7.44 p.m., the Patriots make it 24-0 with 59 seconds left in the first quarter on Mike Gillisley's one-yard run. The Lions incurred three penalties on this drive, including on the extra point with an illegal formation that allowed the Patriots to attempt a two-point conversion from the one-yard line, which they made with 6.29 left. After the Lions managed just three yards and went three and out, the Patriots got three more points on Gostkowski's 46-yarder. 7.16 p.m., double ouch. Golden Tate fumbled on the Lions' first play from scrimmage and the Patriots recovered and took over at the Detroit 32. On the first play, Brady went deep to Hogan, who made a great catch over Nevin Lawson for the TD on a seven-second drive. Steven Gostkowski hooked the extra point attempt wide left. 7.11 p.m., ouch. The Lions did not look good on the Patriots' opening 80-yard drive, which ended with Tom Brady's seven-yard pass to Chris Hogan with 11.51 left for a 7-0 lead. The Patriots never faced a third down and had their way with the Lions' first-team defense. First-round draft pick Jared Davis had trouble covering the slot receiver twice on the drive, including whiffing on Hogan's short TD catch. Patriots receiver Julian Edelman limped off the field last in the drive, favoring his right leg. He was eventually taken to the locker room on a cart.